Being a sheep and trying to make it in Hollywood these days is not so great. PlayStation Underground is taking you onto the set of the latest Spyro TV commercial to see how things are done. We're asking an important question. Are real sheep in today's Hollywood getting fleeced? Does that look like the face of a happy actor? He's nicknamed Toasty because Spyro breathes fire at sheep. If you do it right, it's one more. If you do it wrong, it's all Sheep in today's world are having a PR crisis. Wherever they go, they're the butt of jokes. It'd be nice if I'll let the whole crew have their way with you. <laughs> How can a real sheep compete for roles against the likes of this? It's an animatronic head that was used for close-ups. 21 servo motors make it move, guided by several remote controls. The skull is fiberglass and aluminum. The skin is foam latex. 14 specialists worked three weeks to build it, including a sculptor, mold maker, mechanic, and lab and hair technicians. Genghis, come! Imagine being a sheep and having to share a trailer with a co-star named Genghis. <laughs> Around Hollywood, whatever Genghis wants, Genghis gets. Who thought up the Spyro commercial? These guys from PlayStation's ad agency. We played the game quite a bit and we noticed that there were some sheep that sort of came to unhappy endings in the game. And so we said, geez, what would it feel like to be that sheep? And that's basically where the idea came from. Why did they use animatronics for sheep instead of computer graphics? I think it helps it stand out. The video games are all CG, actually bringing our sheep to life with animatronic. You know, it just it seems to bring the character, get more character. That's it from the Spyro set where the men are men and the sheep are animatronic? <laughs>